Satara Devi the 8th of November 1920 to the 25th of November 2014 was an eminent Indian dancer of the classical Kathak style of dancing. She was the recipient of several awards and accolades, and performed at several prestigious venues in India and abroad, including at the Royal Albert Hall, London 1967, and at the Carnegie Hall, New York 1976. Early life and background Satara Devi was born in Kolkata then Calcutta on 8 November 1920, which in that year coincided with the festival of Dhanteras, the eve of the Indian festival of Dipavali. She was therefore named Dhanalakshmi, in honor of the goddess of good fortune who is worshipped especially on that day. Dhanalakshmi's father's family was of Brahmin heritage and hailed originally from Varanasi, but had been settled in Kolkata for many years. Her father, Sukadev Maharaj, was a Brahmin gentleman and a Vaishanavite scholar of Sanskrit, but he earned his livelihood by teaching and performing the Kathak dance form. Her mother was Matsya Kumari, who held a relationship with the royal family of Nepal. Sukadev Maharaj, while serving in the royal court of Nepal, had developed a passion for classical dance and done an in-depth study of Bharata Natyam and the Natya Shastra. He also practiced and performed Kathak dancing in which he excelled. Kathak became his source of livelihood, as also a passion, this was fostered by his marriage to a woman with background in performing arts. The passion for dance was something he passed on to his daughters, Aliknanda, Tara, and Dano, and to his sons, Chab and Pand. She could return to live with her parents only when she was eight. She had met Rabindranath Tagore, and was encouraged by him to revive the lost Indian performing arts like Kathak, after that he passed away, and ensure elevation of them to a dignified status. Sukadev Maharaj decided to realize this goal by contributing to reforming the Kathak style of dancing. At that time, Kathak was being performed by Nash girls or boys, and girls of decent families were not expected to learn this style of dancing. He decided to give religious input to the content, which was quite different from the content used by the Nash girls. Moreover, he decided to teach this form of dancing to his daughters and sons. Elders of his community were scandalized, and Sukadev Maharaj was virtually excommunicated. Maharaj and his family members had to face the ire of the community members, and his daughters were called prostitutes. This did not deter him in his determination. Devi, recalling those moments, said, My father used to say that when Radha could have danced for Krishna why not our girls? Why should men appropriate the right to dance? Maharaj changed his residence, and came to another area of Varanasi. He established a school to teach children including his own daughters and sons dancing. He admitted children of prostitutes who came to the school to learn dancing. Once, the law enforcement authorities came to inquire about the affairs of the school, and Maharaj presented a performance based on the tales of the Mahabharata. She had been watching her sister, 20 years senior to her, learning dance, and she had managed to learn dancing well just by observation and self-practice. Like the tradition of the time, Devi was to be married when she was a small girl of eight, and her child bridegroom's family wanted to solemnize the marriage. However, she resisted, and wanted to be in a school. At her insistence, the marriage did not take place, and she was admitted into the Kamachagar High School. While at this school, a dance drama based on the mythological story of Savitri and Sadavan was to be enacted in a cultural program to be conducted by the students of the school. The school was searching amongst the students for someone to do a dance sequence embedded in the dance drama. Dano prevailed upon her teacher by showing her an impromptu dance performance. The performance clinched the role for her and she was also assigned the task to teach the dance to her co-performers in the sequence. After the dance drama, a local newspaper named The Aj reported about the cultural program emphasizing that a little girl named Dano had enchanted the audience by her dance performance. Her father saw the news, and this changed his perception about his girl with the twisted mouth. Dano was rechristened as Satara, and she was entrusted into the charge of her elder sister, Tara for imparting her dancing lessons. Incidentally, Tara is the mother of famous Kathak dancer, Gopi Krishna. By the time Devi had turned 10, she was giving solo performances, mostly during the 15-minute recess during movies in a cinema of her father's friend. Her commitment to learning dance left her with very little time, and she did not continue her schooling. By the time she was 11, her family shifted to Bombay, now called Mumbai. 
Soon after reaching Bombay, Devi gave a Kathak performance in Atiya Begum Palace before a select audience, which included Rabindranath Tagore, Sarojini Naidu and Sir Kowashi Jehangir. She impressed Tagore who wanted her to give a special performance in Tata Palace of the Tata Group. There the 11-year-old dancing damsel studied Kathak, with all its nuances, for three hours. Tagore called her to felicitate her in the traditional Indian style of giving her a shawl and a gift of Rs. 50 as a token of her appreciation. Recalling those moments, Devi once said, But as I thrust out my hand to receive gifts, I remember my father nudged me and whispered in my ear, Don't take only the gifts. He is a great man, ask for his blessings, girl. Obediently, I asked Gurudev to bless me that I would become a great dancer some day. Her debut was at Jehangir Hall, Mumbai, then the center of Metro's cultural life. When she was a 12-year-old girl, Devi was recruited by Niranjan Sharma, a filmmaker and a dance director, and she gave dance sequences in some Hindi movies including her debut in Usha Haran 1940, Nagina 1951 Roti, Baitan 1938, Anjali 1957 directed by Chetan Anand, brother of Dev Anand. In Mother India 1957, she performed a holy dance dressed as a boy, and this was her last dance in any movie. She stopped performing dances in movies, as they were adversely affecting her study in the classical dance. Kathak, Rabindranath Tagore described her as Enritya Samragni, Enartya Samrajni, meaning the Empress of Dance, after watching her performance when she was just 16 years old. The epithet continues, and she is still described as the Kathak Queen. Personal life Devi was married to Nazir Ahmed Khan then to K. S. Eif to Pratap Baro, with whom she had a son, Ranjit Baro. Recognition Devi received a number of awards, including Sangeet Natak Akademi Award 1969 and the Padma Shri 1973, Kalidas Salmon 1995 and Enritya Nipuna. She refused to accept the Padma Bhushan Award, declaring, It is an insult, not an honour. And as a report from the Press Trust of India quoted her saying, Is this government not aware of my contribution to Kathak? I will not accept any award less than Bharat Ratna. On 8 November 2017, Google showed a doodle in India for Satara Devi's 97th birthday. <laughs> Later years Although her forte was Kathak, she was also an accomplished dancer in many other styles of dancing including Bharatanatyam and many forms of folk dances of India. She also learned the Russian ballet, and other dances of the Western world. With advancing age, her dancing activities diminished, and she was working on compiling a book encapsulating the research done by her father and her in the field of dancing, especially in Kathak style of dancing. She taught Kathak dancing to Bollywood celebrities such as Madhubala, Rekha, Mala Sinha, and Kajol. She envisioned formalizing her teaching, and planned to set up a Kathak training academy. She died on 25 November 2014, at Jaslok Hospital in Mumbai, after a prolonged illness. See also List of Catholic exponents <laughs>